Hi, I'm Leilani Smith, and thank you for joining me once again for Leilani Drinks the Brown Stuff. Obviously in my backyard, and if you see things flying around, that's the buggy buggy bugs. <laughs> They're out in full force tonight. Um, let's hope they don't try to drink any of my scotch because then that's when we'll be fighting. Today, as you heard already, I'm gonna be trying a scotch. Now, I'm not the biggest scotch drinker because I'm not into like peat and moss, not yet. It is an acquired taste and I'm slowly coming around, but it's not my first choice. So scotches, I'm kind of lost on. So I bought this at Vons for uh, 20 bucks and it was on sale from 36, so that's a $16 savings. So for me, I'm like, I can go get something to eat and who doesn't want to get anything to eat afterwards with the whiskey? Anytime there's gonna be a sale, I'm the girl. I am the whiskey gal that loves a good sale, a good whiskey sale, cause it's like Christmas. <laughs> and I'm so glad I got it because I want to also review a lot of whiskeys that are non-name brand, unfamiliar, and overlooked. That's what this show is going to be about. So it's not going to always be about the high-end, hooty, tooty, good fluty stuff. And the fantastic thing is, is it's shrouded in mystery. There's nothing online about this whiskey. Nothing. When I say nothing, I'm talking about zero zilch zippo. There is not a website, anything or any information or any company that's selling Glen Cullen basically uses everything that's on the label, which is hilarious. So tonight we are going to be trying Glen Cullen Scotch. Again, I'm not the biggest scotch person. I'm not into peaty, mossy kind of taste, but I am going to learn something new because Space Side is pretty much a place that doesn't use peat. Let's see what happens. So let's get on with this mystery bottle. Now um, it is 40% alcohol and 80 proof. It is a single malt scotch whiskey. I'll give you a dollar and a shot of wine if I catch you stealing, I'll break both of your hands and stick them in your ears. I use that accent in one of my theater things. Oh, because it was supposed to be a 1930s bar and I just had to throw it in there. Okay, there is no. All right, I'm, I'm, give me a second here. <laughs> Mysteries, even in opening the. Oh. <laughs> Let's do this. Glenn Cullen, my mystery whiskey. Oh, I like that pop. <laughs> oh, that's a nice, rich, earthy smell. I don't know. I like it. I like it a lot. It smells like a man's cologne. I'm, mm, I'm telling you. Men, cologne. Woman's poor, a woman's poor. Mmm, that smells rich, but it does feel like it smells like there's just a hint of peat. Maybe that's just because it's made in Scotland and they just love their peatiness and it just kind of through osmosis just went in there. But I do enjoy the smell. Now, before I drink this, I need to let you guys know is that the EU allows E150 caramel coloring inside their scotch whiskeys. What? Like this is supposed to be the most amazing, fantastical whiskeys in the world and your $100 bottle might have some coloring. So that's why I'm saying calm down, try all the whiskeys. It could be delicious. And the US banned caramel coloring in any rye or straight bourbon whiskeys. Who knew? The US on top of something. Oh, okay. Smooth. And it's not the, the grassy tasting stuff that they said could be made in Speyside. It is more sweeter, sherried, mm, different. Because the smell 
and the taste all hits you and it is ever so smooth. I am going to do this because I was told that a little bit of water opens up the scotch. I am so against any water or ice. I mean, I just tasted it. I'm okay with a little bit of the, the feel of alcohol as long as there's not a heavy blowback. I can drink this all day. I, I can just, I'm fine with it. I don't wanna put the water in, but I will. <laughs> Boom, shakalaka. Let's wait a second. Do I have to swirl it? Do you know? No, I don't know either, but I'm gonna swirl it. Let's see. Smells the same. Nothing's changed, guys, nothing's changed. All right, let's do this. It is even smoother. I mean, it goes down super nice, but I'm the type of gal that likes a little burny burn. Not a lot, just a little, a little spice. Yum. Okay, guys, so the verdict is in. This is a really tasty whiskey that I found by per chance for $20. I saved 16 bucks on it. Woo woo. What I wanna say is that I love it. It's smooth, it's delicious, it's nice, it's rich tasting. It's very flavorful. So with this, I'm gonna give Gun Cullen three kisses. So this Glen Cullen mystery is solved. And now you can enjoy it in your backyard with me because <laughs> I'll buy it any day.